Hello guys, today we will learn about force and motion in 15 minutes. Before we continue with our session, we will look at the content standard. In 2.1, we will study about linear motion. The learning outcome that we cover is in 2.1.1 describe the type of linear motion of an object in the following state first we will look at the stationary second uniform velocity and lastly non-uniform velocity the next learning outcome we will look at in 2.1.2 Determine first distance and displacement, second speed and velocity, and lastly acceleration or deceleration. And the last learning outcome that we will look is in 2.1.3 solve problem involving linear motion using the following equation the first equation is v equal to u plus a t the second equation is s equal to 1 over 2 times u plus v times t the third equation is s equal to u t plus 1 over 2 a t square and lastly v square equal to u square plus 2 a s what is linear motion linear motion can be described in term of distance displacement speed velocity and acceleration Linear motion can be divided in three categories. First, stationary. Second, uniform velocity. And third, non-uniform velocity. Stationary is an object that stays in one place without any movement. Next, we will look at uniform velocity. Uniform velocity is an object that cover equal distance in an equal interval of time. For example, from point A to point B, a person walk with a distance 12 meter for 5 seconds. And from point B to C, a person walk with equal distance, which is 12 meter, for 5 seconds. That we call uniform velocity, because the distance and the time is equal. And lastly, we will look at non-uniform velocity non-uniform velocity is an object cover unequal distance in equal intervals of time in specific direction for example a person walk from a to b with a distance 12 meter for 5 seconds and Continue from point B to C with 16 meter for 5 seconds. That we call non-uniform velocity because the distance are unequal and the time of interval is equal. Next, we will look at the key point in linear motion first we will look at 
distance, displacement, speed, velocity, and acceleration. Distance is length of road covered by an object. Displacement is shortest distance between the initial position and the final position in a specific direction. Difference between distance and displacement. Distance is its magnitude depends on the road covered by the object. Displacement is its magnitude is the straight line distance between the initial position and the final position. For distance is a scalar quantity and displacement is a vector quantity. Next, we will look at speed. Speed is a rate of change of distance travel. For calculation, we can state that speed equal to distance travel over time taken. For simplify the formula, we can state that V equal to D over time. And the unit is meter over second. Next, we will look at velocity. Velocity is rate of change of the displacement. Velocity for calculation, we can state that displacement over time taken. For simplify the equation, we can state that V equal to D over T. And the unit for this calculation is meter over second. For our understanding, we will look in an example. Figure show that Ali is running from A to B and then back to C. The total time taken is 20 seconds. Determine the first distance, second displacement, third speed and lastly velocity. Distance Distance traveled by Ali is from A, B and B, C. And the calculation for the total distance is A, B plus B, C. A, B is 100 meter plus B, C which is 20 meter and the total distance is 120 meter. Displacement. Displacement traveled by Ali is AB to BC. Total displacement equal to AB plus negative BC. The value is negative because the direction is opposite from the initial displacement. And the calculation is AB equal to 100 meter plus negative BC minus 20 meter. And the displacement is 80 meter. Next, we will calculate speed. Speed is distance travel over time taken. The distance travel that we calculate from the previous is 120 meter divided by 20 seconds. And the speed is 6 meter over second. And lastly, we will calculate the velocity. Velocity equal to displacement over time taken. Displacement from this calculation, we can say that 80 meter from the previous calculation and the time taken is 30 seconds. And the velocity is equal to 4 meter per second to the right. Next, we will look at acceleration. Acceleration is rate of change of velocity. Acceleration equal to final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time taken for change of velocity. We can state that A equal to V minus U over T and the unit is meter 
per second squared. For example, a car velocity increase from 4 meter per second to 16 meter per second over 4.0 seconds. What is the acceleration of the car? We know that acceleration equal to V minus U over T and U is initial velocity which is 4 meter per second and V is final velocity which is 16 meter per second and T is a time taken which is 4 seconds acceleration equal to 16 meter per second minus 4 meter per second divided by 4 seconds and the answer is 3 meter over second square and lastly we will look at the final subtopic which is solving problem of linear motion using linear motion equation there are four linear motion equation that evolve we will look it on the next slide for the first linear motion equation acceleration equal to final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time taken for change of velocity we know that a equal to v minus u divided by t and we rearrange the equation by forming v equal to u plus a times t for the second linear motion equation we know that displacement equal to average velocity times time and we know that displacement equal to initial velocity plus final velocity divided by 2 and times with time and we can simplify or we can form the equation which is s equal to 1 over 2 bracket u plus v times with t for the third linear motion equation we must substitute equation 1 into equation 2 and we we can state that s equal to 1 over 2 in bracket u plus u plus a t multiply with t and we can simplify the equation by forming s equal to 1 over 2 in bracket 2 u plus a t multiply with t after that we substitute 1 over 2 into the equation and t into the equation and we will form a new equation which is s equal to u t plus 1 over 2 a t square for the final linear motion equation which is the fourth linear motion equation we must square the equation 1 which is we know that equation 1 is v equal to u plus a t after we square the equation we will form a new equation which is v square equal to u square plus 2 u a t plus a square t square then we factorize the equation by pulling out 2 a and we will form a new equation which is v squared equal to u squared plus 2a in bracket u t plus 1 over 2 a t squared we know that u t plus 1 over 2 a t squared is a third equation from the previous equation so we can change the equation by forming which is s so we form a new equation which is v squared 
equal to u squared plus 2as for the fourth or the, or the final linear motion equation. Let's test your understanding by answering these questions. Each question will cover each subtopic in this presentation. That's all from me for today. Thank you for watching. Bye.